What'd you do in Daylight? A parody event in Plainville called Homers for Conrad. Mm. People were there taking pictures and posting them on doing? Facebook. We see more Facebook posts and see Michelle had come up with the idea to do a fundraising softball tournament with the proceeds going to help in suicide prevention. My family, we have a team. Conrad's best friend, Tom, and his teammates all have a team. Then there's like some of Michelle's friends. The street <laughs> is Michelle organized it for her hometown instead of Conrad's hometown, which is an hour away. One thing nobody realized at the time is watching. <laughs> the main purpose of me being there was I placed an undercover phone call into Michelle's phone when she was in plain view at Homer's for Conrad. We knew from subscriber information from the phone company that it was there for mothers. So we couldn't take the chance to get messages from someone that wasn't Michelle. And she answered the phone. So at that point, we checked another box. This is Michelle Carter on the other side of this phone. Um, it's at the side of the tunnel, I <laughs> in the Plainville area to try and locate her, to have a quick conversation with her, but to also, our main goal that day was to retrieve her phone for the uh, for forensic analysis. We had brought a handheld recorder, and when we started talking to her, let her know that we were recording the, the interview. Did you have contact on him that day right up until he, he, he passed? Do you, you think you had contact with him that day? Um, I think so. Yeah. Did he, did he tell you anything about that or anything like that? Um, he was talking about it for a while. I had a feeling that if he didn't get help, then something was going to happen. I was, I was trying to get help for him sooner, but by the time, it was just too late. So right off the bat, they know she's not being entirely truthful with them. And they just confiscate her phone. As God knows how much evidence that they only had an audio recording of this happening because they can really imagine the family to contact us. Ultimately they contacted and said that they had obtained a lawyer and they wouldn't be speaking with us. At least you can really only imagine the look on her face. The plan for the family to finish, so we speak with Michelle. Ultimately, they contacted and said that they had obtained a lawyer and they wouldn't be speaking with us. Police did what is called an extraction of the phone. It's where they use a device that pulls everything out, even stuff that's been deleted. And about 60,000 items are pulled from her phone, text. Danny. I'm sorry, can you do me one more thing? Can you, I'm sorry, can you grab just my cigarettes for me and my lighter? I left it over there by my mask. Thank you.